go in the no-go thread plug gauge is the simplest and most economical method of inspecting internal screw threads. Go and no-go thread plug gauges are very easy to use. Thread plug gauges should be clearly labeled on the handle and the gauge members. The user of the thread plug gauge should ensure that the correct major diameter, TPI or pitch, class of fit, and go and no-go pitch diameters are clearly specified. The inspector should confirm the gauges are calibrated. It is always advisable to recheck the thread plug gauges prior to use regardless of the calibration sticker's current status. Many companies arbitrarily select annual frequencies of calibration rather than basing frequency on usage. This can create quality issues as thread plug gauges can be worn out of tolerance or damaged during the course of a production run. Thread measuring wires or a three-wire thread measuring system can accurately measure pitch diameter and confirm the thread plug gauge is still within tolerance. AGD thread plug gauges are designed with a chip groove for sizes above .164. The chip groove's purpose is to clean the threads of the workpiece, but it should really not be relied on. It is highly recommended that the workpiece be as clean and burr-free as possible to reduce friction and wear on the gauge. A clean thread prior to gauging will provide the inspector with more sensitivity of thread fit. Thread plug gauges should be cleaned with solvent or air and then frequently recoated with a rust preventative. In clean room environments, isopropyl alcohol may be substituted to help reduce friction on the gauges. Thread plug gauges should be protected in plastic tubes and coated in wax when not in use to prevent nicks to the threads. All gauging, whenever possible, should be done over an inspection table in the event that the gauge is accidentally dropped. If a gauge is dropped, it should be immediately reinspected for damage. The GO thread plug gauge should engage the internal threaded part with very little force used. The engagement should be smooth. There is no specification regarding torque or pounds of pressure for using thread plug gauges. Common sense should be applied based on factors of thread size, pitch, and application. If the gauge starts to bind, the inspector should stop before damaging the part or the gauge. The part may be undersized or tapered. Other possibilities include lead error or a damaged thread. With fine threads, the inspector should be careful to not cross-thread the parts. It is important to use the no-go gauge as it checks pitch diameter exclusively. It is unaffected by other conditions in the screw thread as it is intentionally truncated on the crest and has greater clearance applied on the roots of the thread. The no-go thread plug gauge should not enter the part more than three turns. Although in practice, it is advisable to limit the amount of turns to one and a half to two turns maximum. The user just simply counts turns. The end user should review the thread specifications in detail as there are variations to the above no-go gauging practice depending on the thread standard. For more information on our thread gauges and thread checks other products and services, please visit our website at www.threadcheck.com.